Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I am back with another Rediscover Your Stamp series that I do with the amazing Sarah Scraps. As always, I will have Sarah's video linked down in the description box for you. This month we are using the stamp set from Studio Calico. It's the Hyuga stamp set. Um, it's all about documenting home. So I printed a strip of photos to document my love for my home. And I'm going through my traveler's notebook, trying to find the right pattern for my strip of photos. Love this pattern. It's very simple, very basic. It just has one, two, three, and it's tone on tone. And I felt like it went well with my three photo strip here. So I'm going with it. I will be grabbing the stamp set. I thought I would stamp first and then decide what I'm doing later. And I knew I wanted to use the stamp that it was like a triangle and it said bring on all the cozy vibes. I felt like it would look cute to kind of point towards my photo strip. So I went with it. I'm bringing in some of the color from the left side and I'm filling out that cozy. I also really love the larger stamp and it says home. So I thought I would just stamp it vertically against my strip of photos. I was just hoping that stamping around my strip of photos, it would help the photos pop. Now I'm going to go ahead and print out my journaling. My thought behind my journaling was I can print them out into circles, cut them out into circles and add them right above the random facts one, two, three kind of thing. Uh, so what I did was I grabbed some dies and I'm going to cut my journaling into these circles because I printed these on transparency paper. The one, two, three is you're still going to see it in the background. And I really like that idea and it turned out really, really cute. My only problem was, if you know me, you know that I don't repeat shapes. Like I don't create a layout, just circles or just hearts. or So it was really hard for me <laughs> to figure this out. So what I mean about all of this is I actually grab the circle stamp from the stamp set and I will stamp these little icons. Uh, the icons were like a coffee cup, a house, uh, and a little stack of books which by the way, I did not plan my photos with the stamp set whatsoever. It was just a coincidence and it worked out perfectly. But anyways, I end up stamping those three circles and I would, my thought was I would add each circle next to my journaling, but I just couldn't get over the circles. <laughs> so I was struggling a little bit trying to figure out where I'm going to add these stamped circles next to my journaling. I think I was more in my head. I just don't like this column of just circles or column of hearts. It's just not how I work. So uh, it took me a while and I even edited out a lot of it because I really struggled, you guys. I do end up deciding not to put them in a column and move them around a little bit because I just couldn't get over that whole column look of circles. So once I figure out where I'm gonna add them, I go for it. I will actually grab some of my Studio Calico chipboard hearts because I wanted to break down the circles. Again, I couldn't get over so many circles on my spread and I wanted to break it down. So what I decide to do is grab some of my chipboard hearts and just choose the tone on tone, keep with the theme, add a few hearts to each circle, hoping that it would break it down and add a little bit more color to my spread. Oh, and I do go back and change those middle hearts. I just felt like they match too much with the top ones. So I go with something darker and it looks so much better. Anyways, you guys, I'm almost done. I'm going to grab the stamp set again and add a few more stamping around my photo strip. Again, I want the photos to pop. So I end up stamping love it, love this so much. And I'll also stamp warm and cozy on some white paper, trim it out and use it as an embellishment for my photo strip just to add some texture. And I thought it was done at this point, but I felt like I needed more color on the right side of my spread. So I use those chipboard hearts again and I add like a strip of hearts coming kind of uh, down from the photo strip towards my home stamp. And I love how that looks. It really brought in more color to the right side and it made everything flow 
and I just love how it looks. But that's about it, you guys. I'm going to call it done. Uh, don't forget, I'm going to be adding Sarah's link and video down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.